Hello, this is Ruby from The Useful Journal. I have a fairly good washi tape collection, um, but as you can see, I've still got a gap in my box, so I can easily fit some more in. And there's nothing better than happy mail during a lockdown. So I went to the washi tape shop online and I've got happy mail. I don't know why we needed bubble wrap for washi tape. Tissue would have been fine, but oh my goodness, look at these. I'm so excited. Get them all out of the box. And nice little card. Oh, and you get a discount off your next order. That's nice. So, these were actually quite interesting. I've started doing a bit of a vintage look junk journaling. Oh, these are beautiful. They are stickers, I believe. Yep, they're stickers. So they're beautiful. I'm really happy with those. It's very pretty. Now we've got fishy stickers. Now I'll open one so you can see what I mean. So what we have is actual stickers. There we go. Cute little washi stickers. Lots of, that's a really cute design. I really like that one. Put that back over there. And we've got flowers, teapots. Ah, oh, dragons, cool. Cups and tomatoes and things, butterfly wings. Ah, oh, and what's nice about this is you can actually stick them together to make a butterfly. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Pots, leaves, oh, and we've got more coffee cups and teapots. They're nice. Pumpkins. Oh, snowflakes, they're pretty. Leaves and cat paws, and they're all stickers. Now, what I also got was bus through here and see look this is wrapped in tissue they can all be like that these are a bit wider but they're very pretty they're a bit vintage looking looking forward to trying those out and then we've got Happy with these. I've got a mix of widths. So we've got a really wide one, which is about well, it's over an inch. We've got this one with gold foil on it. They've all got gold foil actually. This is the same width as the last one. That's so pretty. I can't wait to try these. Green one. And just a it's got more gold in it than I thought from the original drawing, so that's nice. And then finally, I got this one. Oh, now, I got these because I don't really have a lot in pastel. And I thought these would be nice. So this is another set. So these, these all came. That was a set. That was a set. And this is a set. And while I would kind of like to be able to access some of these as singles, which you can't do, you can only buy them as a set, um, I do see, see I probably would have bought that one, um, I do see the advantage in having a set because then you can mix up your, your patterns on your spread. So we'll see how I go with that one, but they're very pretty. So very excited and I look forward to trying them out. Okay, so I've drawn out a rough guide of what I want to do. I love these 
needable erasers because they just take off a bit of the pencil so you can still see what you're doing but you don't get as much mark in there now I want this all to be about to be all about the washi tape so I haven't um, done really fancy lettering or anything and anyway the the printing kind of works with the child theme this is a style of lettering that has all the letters the same height so you have quite short uprights on your letters like H and D and letters like that just be careful you don't smudge it with your hand running over the back because these are quite wet inks I'm going to do some yellow I've chosen these colors to go with the washi tape the rest of the letters the hug is going to be done in washi tape now I'm going to outline everything in a light micron pen so let's get out the zero one I want it to be quite fine because I want it to be very much about the washi tape and let's see hopefully I don't muck up my drawings and I won't be outlining the bits of the drawing that will be done in, with washi tape so just the faces mainly and hopefully I don't muck them up too much because I'm really not good at this She okay, so I have my template now. I can take my eraser and clean it up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to try something different this time, and that's tracing what I want to fill in with washi tape. In the past I have done, I've used a knife to cut it but it, it's really hard to do without going through the page. So I'm going to try it this way um, and hopefully it'll have a better result. I'm just going to cut them out and then put them on my washi tape and then cut out the washi tape. So we'll see how that goes. Let's try this. Which one? We'll use this one. So this actually is really handy. This washi tape has a paper backing. And when you've got these wider washi tapes that you might want to use for things like this where you're cutting them out, it's actually really, really handy because it means that you can um, play with it a little bit more and not have it stick to the page so I'm just going to do a rough outline on my washi tape it does take pencil Oop. that only needs to be rough because I kind of know what I'm cutting out and then I'm going to cut out my washi tape so I'm going like that and we'll go a little divot there the good thing about the theme I've chosen is that because it's children, like about children and it's got a childlike sort of look to it, it doesn't matter if things are a little bit rough and not perfect, does it? So, I've got my G. Now I actually use my knife and a cutting board to cut out the little hole in the 
G. Cutting boards are always handy, protecting your desk. Okay, so that's come out. Put my knife away. Right, now I should be able to just peel this off now. Let's hope it's not too hard. There we go, that's an edge. Nails would be a huge advantage here. Okay, there's my G. Oh, it's lovely and transparent. Just straightening out that corner that I pinched. And I'm just going to erase my G and stick down my replacement G. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. This washi tape is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's got beautiful birds in it. Oh, I can't wait to use these. And I'm doing the next letter in the same paper. Right. So, same again. Cut out my U. I chose big, fat, round letters because they're easier to cut and draw. I might just cut out the U when I get to the cardboard, so I'm just going to loosely draw around that. Okay, so we'll get our scissors and we'll go like this. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, that I can just create any shape I like and draw it on my washi tape and then cut it out. Now this U needs a U bit, so I'll just cut that out, okay, and we'll rub out the U. Yeah, as well. Okay. And stick it next to my G. Right. Now I've just got to do the H and I'll get back to you. You can see my letters kind of, because they've got white on them, they blend in a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little outline in yellow. Nothing too dark. Just so they don't blend into the page so much. I'll see whether I like it on the U. Okay, so that's my hug. Now to do the clothes. So I'll start with this little dress over here and once again I'm going to, going to trace. This is just grease proof paper. Any tracing paper is fine. This is really cheap. You just buy it by the, by the roll in the supermarket. Um, so it's nice and cheap. Now, I made the mistake of doing a line on this one, but it's okay. Now, now actually, I need to cut out the arm. I haven't done these very often. Um, they're quite, they're a little bit time consuming because there's lots of little fiddly bits. I'm going to use my knife on this one. Um, it's a good way to use your wide washi tapes because then you don't have multiple seams in your drawing. Whereas if you use the narrow washi tape, you'd have to match up the edges of it so I really I found it a really nice way of using your wide washi tape and then getting to show off the pattern as well okay so we've cut out our arm oh, hang on. okay so this is the shape I want in washi and we'll do this dress in this I really like this one once again, we've got the paper backing, which makes it all a bit easier. We're going to get her dress. And the dress is a little bit wide, so the dress will be a little bit narrower in the, in the final picture. 
So I might take the narrowness out of the back rather than the front. Okay, so this is the shape I'm going to draw. Oop, can't go over the edge there. <laughs> I'm drawing that bit. So I'm just going to have to change the shape a little bit to fit my picture. Now, if we can start with scissors, I'll do the now. Um, Carefully take it off. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull out the drawing. Pencil will show through your pen or the washi tape, so you do need to rub it off. Oh, it was close. Okay, I'm going to very carefully, because it does cut the page. Very carefully take that off. I'm trying not to cut my page. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got a cute little girl in a little dress. And I actually was going to use the butterfly stickers. Where are they? Here they are. Now I've got, so this tape comes with four different butterflies and because of the colour of this page I'm going to use this one. They're just stickers but they're washi stickers so they're quite light and pretty and I'm going to put that there and I'm going to get the other wing. The other side and she's going to be looking at this little butterfly. It wears its wings and I just have to draw the body. Butterflies are very easy to draw. So we're getting some more. This is another sticker. Oh, okay, we're gonna use that one obviously. I'm gonna stick that just on this hill. So this is another sticker washi. And we have, looks like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different designs. So that's nice. I might move this one. Another advantage of washi tape is that you can usually gently remove it and move it. So I might actually... Let's move down here. Just need it a bit lower. There we go. I love these little washi stickers. They're so good. So cute. Okay. Well, this is coming together nicely. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got a harder dress coming up. So, actually, we'll do the girl and her pants. Now, this is what I mean about narrower tapes. And this one is sticky on the back. So I'm going to stick to my original method. But we're just going to have to do a middle line because of the narrower washi, which is a shame. But that's the way it is. So we're going to cut out those two shapes. And then the good thing about this too is it's got a shiny back, so you know when you're on the wrong side. Okay. And that goes that way. So... Basically, we've got our pants. Now, because this has a sticky back, I'll need to probably, I think the easiest way will be to stick it down and use my knife. I'll try it. Let's try this. I'm going to put it on my board. I'm going to put this on top. And we're going to do that with my knife. So you can press as hard as you like on a cutting board, which is handy. Cut up this 
so this saves you having to draw it first, I suppose. So then we'll just use the knife to pick up that bit. Actually, this method is quite good, quite easy. So if we again start at the lead down there, um, does that go? Is it quite straight? Because her hand was in her pants. Oh, I like these pink pants, they're quite cute. There we go. Okay, now we'll cut out the other side. So just you got to make sure you match it up properly. So a bit lower. Yep. Trying to match it up with her pants at the top. Yeah, I didn't manage pattern match. But that's okay. They look quite good actually. I don't know what's going on here. I think it's actually the washi tape has a dark spot on it. Yep. Right, that's the pants. Now the top. Actually, I kind of liked being able to stick it on the board. It made it a little bit easier. So I'm going to do it that way for this one. Right, so I've just cut off a snippet here. And I'm actually going to use the method I use for the pants. I've traced the top and I'm just going to take it off its backing and I'm going to stick it down. Okay, so you can stick that down there. Let's see, it fits on best there. Okay, you can watch that with the knife. It does grab it sometimes and tear the washi tape, so you've got to be a bit careful. I think I'm nearly done. Okay. So you've seen two different ways of doing it now. One is to Cut it on the paper backing with your scissors and another is to use your knife on a cutting board. So this is her little top. Oh, I'm just going to use my knife to tidy it up a bit. My scissors, sorry. Uh, might be a little bit funny shape, but that's okay. Now we're going to stick it on. Let's hope it works. Oh, it's a bit crooked. <laughs> Getting the, the um, layout right is interesting so we need it to match the arms and the neck let's start with the neck where's the neck no the arms way down there okay so there we go there we go now i'm just going to touch up some of the edges with my pen okay and in the pond, I'm just going to stick a little fish. That's from my little fish washi tape. And we've got eight different designs on there. That's quite nice. Okay, I'm going back to my original method because I think I prefer that. Of cutting it out, drawing it on the tape with the paper backing on it and then cutting it out. Get a smoother line too with the scissors than you do with the tape. With the, with the knife, the knife's quite hard to manipulate. So this is the crouching girl. Get my tape. Put your dress on there. It's a perfect size. Do you need to check how wide your tape is so that you can make sure your drawings fit? Then we're going to get that shape out. When you're drawing a shape to fill in with washi tape, you need to keep the shape quite simple because as you can see, otherwise you make it impossible to cut out. So we'll just check that that looks alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, so I've got my little dress. It goes there. And the last washi tape I'm going to use is this one. That's the last one in the set. So there were five in the set. And we're just going to put the dress on here. Oh, it's a bit sticky on the end where the other tape was on top, so I'll just cut it there. I'm just going to draw around my shape. Nearly there. I'm quite pleased with how this is turning out. It's a cute little spring dress. This method has actually worked quite well. Now, I'll start at the top so it matches her neck and arms. Is that right? Maybe a bit lower. There we go. Cute little dress. And just get a pen to do some touch ups. And there you have it. We've done a little. Oh, actually, there was one more thing. I was going to get my little girl over here to hold a teapot. This is another sticker washi. Okay, we're going to have her holding her little teapot there. Okay, so once again, eight different designs. And I am pretty happy with that. I might just stick one of these flowers from this one over here. I am super happy with that. Thank you, Washi Tape Shop. That looks really good.